Corrosion costs about $2 trillion globally, and that's in repair of materials that get damaged. In BP, we make almost all of our equipment out of steel. And as you know, steel will corrode. In BP, we push these steels to the ultimate limit, extreme temperatures. In tropical environments offshore, we can see corrosion rates of two millimetres a year. So it would be just a matter of months and years before much of our equipment was unusable. So to protect from corrosion, we paint almost all of that equipment worldwide. Coatings in the simplest sense are things like paints, which sit on top of a material that you want to protect. When you paint your gate, you're trying to stop it from rusting, as well as making it look nice. Currently, a coating can prevent corrosion of the underlying substrate, but if it gets scratched or damaged, now there's no protection. These coatings that we use are very expensive, but they do degrade, and over time, they'll fail. And when they fail, we have to repair them, and that costs us a lot of money. A team of researchers in the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign are leading the way in the development of revolutionary new coatings, known as smart coatings. We were really aware of the work that the Illinois group of uh, professors Nancy Soto, Scott White and Jeffrey Moore were doing, developing coatings which could self-repair. So we wanted to work with them to see if we could further develop that technology to get it to a point where we could actually apply it on our assets. Our challenge was could we come up with simple technology could be applied in conventional ways without any kind of electronics or human intervention for that matter. The idea is that uh, not only will we have materials that last longer and that are safer, but they should ultimately cost less. So we've been working on self-healing coatings. They're a polymer material that contains an active healing agent. And so when that active healing agent gets damaged, it ruptures into the damage area and reheals and reseals the damage. Right here we've got uh, two different coatings applied onto a steel substrate. On the right we have a commercial a zinc pigmented coating and then on the left we have a self-healing coating. What we've done is scratch both types of coatings and you can see that for the self-healing coating we have significantly lower corrosion. The ability to self-heal has the potential to revolutionize the life cycle of coatings and the valuable assets they're designed to protect. But what if, in addition to self-healing, coatings could actually communicate the fact that damage or corrosion had occurred in the first place. At the first place, we wanted this to have some self-protection abilities. And the second part is that we're trying to develop a self-reporting ability of these coatings. The coating can report the damage to us by itself, so we will know at the very early stage if the coating has been damaged. Every coating in a different environment is going to experience different kinds of events, damage, weather, changes in temperature. We're not certain when a coating might have reached its end of lifetime. And so what tends to happen is coatings get stripped and replaced more often than they, they might need to be. Coating application is expensive and can be uh, chemicals that are used that you'd really like to minimize. The group has generated something like eight patent applications. We have self-healing materials which not only heal, they protect against corrosion, they tell you when damages happen, and we can see applications not just in the oil and gas industry, we can see applications in the energy industry, we can see applications in aerospace, the car industry. A typical coating life is about 10 years. So with these technologies, if we could extend that lifetime by five, 10 years, it would have a massive financial saving for us. The impact is potentially huge.